This right here is my Goliath bird-eating tarantula, the largest species of tarantula on the planet. And this right here is filled up with 10 giant roaches and about two dozen crickets. He's hungry, it's feeding day, so we're in for a treat. Let's get it. So usually every week I feed him about three to four crickets. So what we're gonna do is actually feed him one cricket, see how he reacts and just see how he strikes the cricket. And then we're gonna go for one of these huge roaches that I just got from the pet store today. These things are massive. But let's do like a smaller size cricket, just like this one in here. I might just have to use my hand, honestly. Oh, this one right here, he's a straggler. I feel bad for him. I already pinched him, I gotta go for him. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. A little closer. On standby for lockdown. Cricket is in. Now let's see the tarantula strike. You might need to go bigger. Go bigger, go home. He's gonna go for it right now. There you go. Let's make your way back over. Well, his eyes are up top. So I don't well, he senses with the hairs. It's tarantula 101. Of course, he goes right underneath the beast. So the cricket really isn't getting him all too excited. So we're gonna go right for the big roach. All right, are we ready to release? Mm-hmm. He's going nuts. That's good though. Let's put the lid back on. Oh wait, no, let's leave it off actually. Oh! Oh, annihilated! That's what he wanted. He's tired of the little crickets. He wants the big roach. Dude, look out. That's actually crazy. He went right for it. You can hear the crunching. I know, we go a little bit closer. Oh, he's lifting it up, actually. That's wild. Dude. Oh my gosh. He wanted bigger food. So now we, now we know he likes the cockroaches. And we have literally 10 of them right in this bin right here. Look, he, he's literally holding it. So now he, he has it gripped. I want to see what the next move is. With something this big. I've never fed him something this big. It happened so quick too, you know? It was so cool to see it. And guys, very soon on the channel, we actually are going to be upgrading this whole enclosure right here. Getting, in, getting him into something a little bit bigger. With some more hides and everything. It'd be really cool to see like what tunnels he creates and where he burrows and stuff, where he decides to hide. It's gonna be super cool to see on the channel, so be sure to subscribe. Wow, this is the largest species of tarantula, and this is a bait. Were they injecting with venom? I don't even know, honestly. If anybody knows like some facts about this tarantula, leave it down in the comments. All right, so now he's making a move right now. Now he's just sinking his fangs right into it. The cockroach is still alive. It's twitching. Maybe he just slowly like kills it. Maybe it's like one of those animals that has venom just for other animals and not for humans. Mm -hmm. I wish my GoPro worked. I would literally leave it right in the corner right there, shut the lid, and just watch him eat. Mm -hmm. That would be so cool. All right, so now he's making a move. But now point the camera away from me. He's camera shot. What if he just flicks the hairs right in my eye? When we took the lid off to do the feeding, he actually flicked his hairs for the first time ever. Massive. What a scary looking creature, man. He's not like moving his fangs, all he's doing is just moving up and down. 
I wonder what that means for a tarantula. Maybe he's waiting for it to die. Yeah, probably actually, because it's still moving. Maybe he's, maybe he's making sure that it's dead, so then he could just fully just be safe and just eat it. Well, and not run away. Mm hmm Oh, he's moving his fangs now. Wonder how strong that grip is. So this is a perfect time for actually, for me to do a water change really quick on his bowl. And maybe he's just waiting to just, for us to move, so he has his privacy. Maybe he hasn't had something this big, so. He's gonna have fun with this tonight. Put that right in the corner. He's a very spoiled tarantula. He actually only requests Zephyr Hills water for some reason. It's the only one he drinks. Very spoiled. All right, that's that. You enjoy that cockroach. Or it's not a cockroach. I think it's like a doobie roach or something. I could be wrong. I forgot the name of it. It was at the pet shop, but. Oh, snap. He's flicking. He's flicking his hairs. Back up, retreat. We're gonna put the lid on nice and easy. We don't want to scare him. We just want him to enjoy his meal. That is, he's gonna enjoy that so much. We're gonna put him right back in his spot. And like I said, guys, this is only a temporary home for him. And we don't even have a name for him as well. So if you guys want to leave a comment with some names, that'd be really, really cool. But yeah, we're gonna do a whole tank setup very soon. We have them just in this corner for right now. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Peace!